How are you? I've gotten a lot of comments to do a clean girl makeup, which I'm gonna try to accomplish that. That's why I have my hair slicked back. You know the vibes. I'm sitting on my spine stretcher because I don't have great lighting where my mirror is, so I'm using the natural light. You can see better. To get started, this is the sunscreen I use. It has a little bit of a tint. My face is a lot brighter than the rest of my body. I mean, my body's actually not even tan anymore, but my face is the lightest. So this really helps even out the tone. I normally don't use concealer that often because I don't want it to clog my pores. I don't use it on a daily basis, but I sometimes do like on the weekends or when I'm going out or something. So I'm just gonna use it today for you guys to see what I do. Hey guys, I'm so, I don't know what I'm doing. So just, why is it disappearing? Where'd it go? Okay. A lot of people have also been asking me for a skincare routine. That's like the most requested video of the history of the YouTube channel, but I'm like still perfecting my routine. I used to have very, very dry skin, but now it's kind of like bipolar. I don't know what it is because I built up that skin barrier so it's not as dry anymore but now i have a problem of pores which isn't really a problem but like it would be nice if i couldn't see my pores you know <laughs> so i'm trying to figure that out <laughs> once i do i'll share my skincare routine also this is the dior backstage concealer and then i use this i don't really know how to say that tabin de Sol. this one's the like special leather case that's what it looks like i love this stuff so much it's so good it's a foundation packed kind of thing, like, you know, but I don't use it that often because I don't really use foundation that often. It does a really good job. I really like this little handy dandy little, I kind of like rub. Okay, I think I just like spread my, okay. But I like rub the sides in so that it looks seamless. I think I am going to use this today just for the purpose of the video. That's literally all I do. I know you can still see my dark circles, but what can I say? Dark circles are kind of hot, don't you think? Also, I have a long nose, so it kind of shortens my <laughs> this area. <laughs> and then I go in with this palette. It's like really old. It's from 2020. But we're gonna ignore that. I use this... They sell each of these separately too, but I just got this as a birthday present one year, aka like four years ago. I only recently started using it and I mostly used it when I was traveling, but I found out that I really like it, so I've been using it. Honestly, makeup is so personal. I feel like everyone develops their own style in makeup, so just honestly do whatever you are comfortable with. Because something that I do that looks good on me might not look good on you, and something that you do might not look good on me. This is the Patrick Ta bronzer. She's sculpted. This one's a little bit dark on me because I was tan when I bought it. Now I'm like very pale. I'm in Florida, but it's like no sun here right now. But it's okay. Well, I just really blend it out everywhere. Like I go up, I go down. What I was saying is makeup is a very personal thing to each person, but obviously when you're first like learning how to do makeup, when you don't really have your style of makeup yet, you watch other people do theirs and go off of that. Like you try different things and then what works for you. I'm going to the bank to make a savings account today because one of my goals of 2024 is to have better money management. And then I use the cream one and this one looks a little bit darker at first. So I just use one dab for both cheeks and really really blend it out i take that again and i kind of like go under my lip like that so that my lips look more plump and then i go back with the other one that and like right here my makeup it's so all over the place i got my tiny brush i'm gonna take this again so that i can clean the side of my nose because right now it's a little bit messy this one comes in really bright colors i think this is the darkest color but it's still very bright it's number 23 I'm gonna go in with this brush again for the eye area to give it a little bit of a high shadow effect. Perfect. Anastasia, Anastasia. Everyone says it differently for some reason, so I'm just gonna say it both ways. I used to use the Benefit one, but I feel like there's really not 
much product in it for the price. After that, I tried the Sephora like tinted ones, but I hated it. The color, like the tint would dry up and like kind of fall out like crumbs and I hated that. So this is the next one I've been using, which I feel like it, it works. I would buy it over the Benefit one, even though the Benefit one works very nicely. It's a little bit, I can't justify the price point for the amount of product. I really want to try the Merit ones though. I've really been wanting to try Merit. I've been wanting to buy the blush in terracotta so badly, but it's been sold out for the longest time. So I'm just waiting. I also want to try the concealer and I want to try the bronzing stick. I've heard so many good things about all of those. This is the Rare Beauty Gel Eyeliner in True Brown, which also I don't know how I feel about this either. It works. Two brown mascaras. I don't know which one I like more this one people rave about it but i really don't like the applicator that's the problem i really like this one actually i don't know if it's waterproof i don't think it is but it's really nice it goes on really nicely my roommate natalie got this one for me i mean she had it and she just gave it to me because she has so much makeup brown mascara looks much better on me so i've been trying to find a good brown mascara. My lovely friend Fluidy bought this for me. Isn't it so pretty, guys? Guys, guys. It's in the shade Tempted. I'm gonna take my little blush brush that actually comes with this sticking together. Look how pretty she is. Okay. This lip liner from MAC is so good. It's the lip pencil in Whirl. I think that's what the color is so good but i need to sharpen her but i don't have a sharpener here it's at school she's kind of dead <laughs> i'm done that's my look now i use the mac fixer skin refresher slash finishing mist oh my god i'm always scared to spray i think it got in my eye Now I look all glowy and dewy and cutie. Kylie lip gloss. My friend Danny bought it for me. Okay, so this is it. Thanks for watching. Bye.